Okay, so changing out the reservoirs isn't one of my favorite jobs. I mean, you know, firstly, they're located on the floor, so I need to pump out all that old nutrient solution into, you know, buckets, and then also my nearest strain is located like two rooms away, and I know, you're like, oh, poor Everest, but you know what? This is definitely on my improvement list for next year, because, ta-da, the easier you make changing out your nutrients, the more likely it is that you'll actually do it on time. This begs the question, how often do you need to change out your nutrients? And what happens if you don't? Well, in reality, there are lots of potential factors, including plant species and development, water quality, nutrient quality, size of reservoir, environment. It's quite a list. No wonder many growers simply opt to do it by rote, say, once every week or two. But let's try to delve a little deeper. First point. Plants drink more water than they eat food. As well as transporting nutrients, water acts as a plant cell coolant with up to 95% of it simply being transpired away through the leaves back into the air. However, as a result of all that transpiration, nutrient solutions tend to become more concentrated in recirculating hydroponic systems over time, especially trace elements. Think about it. The minerals from your nutrients are basically left sitting in less and less water. Before long, they could become too concentrated and start stressing your plants out. So to counter this, hydroponic growers top up their reservoirs every day or two with pure water or top-up solution. It's more important to keep track of how much you add. Top-up solutions are typically one-third or half the strength of regular nutrient solution, but I prefer to add pure water and then add more nutrient concentrate directly to the reservoir if my PPMs have dropped a little low. Whichever method you choose, it's essential that you check the pH of your nutrient solution afterwards and adjust it if necessary. As a rough guide, aim for somewhere between 5.3 and 6.5. My Blue Lab Guardian Connect is invaluable at times like this. A quick glance up and I instantly know where I'm at. So, here's the deal. Once you've added the equivalent of your reservoir's volume as top-up, it's time to change out your nutrient solution and start over. For example, I have a 30-gallon reservoir here. I top it up with this watering can. It holds two and a half gallons. Now that my plants are big, I top up with a full watering can of pure water every day. That means after 12 days, I've topped up with 30 gallons. So this tells me that I need to change this reservoir every 12 days. 30 divided by two and a half equals 12 easy. When my plants were smaller, I would top up with the watering can every other day, meaning I could go 24 days between changeouts. I'm making up a fresh nutrient solution for my cucumbers and peppers. I'm using a Flora Duo by General Hydroponics. It's just two parts, not a grow A and B and a bloom A and B, that you can use at different ratios throughout the plant's life cycle. Here I'm adding twice as much Flora Duo B as Flora Duo A to reflect the fact that my plants are starting to produce fruit. Yay! I'm also adding diamond nectar and organic humic acid to accelerate nutrient uptake. You can buy more concentrated products, but I swear by this stuff. So if you don't change out your res often enough, trace elements and potentially toxic elements such as copper and zinc can accumulate. The proper ratios between different minerals are as important as their presence in the nutrient solution itself. And these can fall out of whack too. Finally, there's the issue of plant poop. Yes, plants produce enzymes, sugars, organic acid, phenols and amino acids, all of which accumulate in a recirculating hydroponic nutrient solution and potentially provide a food source to bacteria and fungi, both friendly and nasty. So the take home points are keep track of how much you top up your tanks. Once you've topped up a tank's worth, drain and make up a fresh batch. It takes discipline and diligence, but your plants will thank you for it. And happy plants, make me happy. Questions and comments in the box below as always, and please don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching. This is Everest. All changed out. Oh, yeah, that was good.